Hey Pipey, welcome to my channel and welcome to your January update. We're going to find out what's going on in your life for January. Please remember that this energy can resonate either way. This could be you or your person. Also, this can resonate for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, okay? So let's get straight into this. Hi, please, and, find, and let's find out what's going on in January. Okay, so I'm getting that you're finding it hard to get over somebody here, Pisces, okay? Um, this could be a Scorpio or a Leo here. You're finding it very hard to get over them. Yeah, you seem to be longing to be with this person. Now, this could be either way. This could be your person's energy as well. Um, so, I'm getting that you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio here, okay? You're finding it hard to get over them, or they're finding it hard to get over you. They could be pretending that they're really happy, okay? But basically, they can't get over you here. Yeah, this person's stuck on you, okay? They may not be reaching out because they feel like they need to work on themselves before they do. Especially if you're dealing with another Pisces, a Leo here. Or an Aries. Um, I'm getting that you could be really confused because you feel a very strong connection to this person, but there could be a barrier in between you two, okay? So this person could make you feel really happy, but there could be some type of restriction here, okay? There's something about your eyes here, Pisces. This person finds your eyes to be very beautiful. I'm getting there's like a mirror dynamic. You guys could be mirroring. Um, you guys could be mirroring each other, okay? This person has a lot of feelings here for you, and they're finding it hard. Um, they're finding it hard letting go of this connection, and they're also finding it hard coming forth. Um, so I'm getting this person longing to be with you, but this person's used to like people coming to them. Okay, so I'm getting that you could be dealing with somebody that's in the public eye or just very beautiful here. Um, they're basically used to people coming to them. Okay, you both could be used to that. This person could have chose somebody else over you, okay? Um, and they could have pr pretended to be happy, pretended that they were in the right connection, but at the same time, they couldn't get over you, Pisces. This person really wants to send you a message, um, and they really want a new beginning here with you in the month of January, okay? I am getting that they are going to communicate here with you, um, and there is an opportunity of a brand new beginning with this person in January, okay? They really do look at you as a very beautiful person here. They're longing to be with you. They're a little bit insecure, okay, when it comes to you, but they're really missing your energy here, Pisces. Yeah, so there could be some type of separation mode. Maybe you guys haven't spoken to each other in a long time. I'm getting this person hasn't been happy. They could be pretending that they're really happy on social media and things like that. But they're not happy, okay? They want to be with you. And if they have another option, they feel like they've really ruined things here with this connection. And they're regretful here. So I'm getting if you're dealing, um, especially with a Virgo here or a Earth sign Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, this person is definitely going to come forward here in the month of January. They want to let you know how they're feeling. They have strong, like a strong connection there to you. They feel very drawn to you, I'm hearing. Yeah, it's like they keep getting signs about you, okay? They keep getting signs and it keeps shocking them. So, wow, the lovers and the two of cups coming out. Together, Pisces, this person's in love with you, okay? This person's literally in love with you. They want to take things to the next level in um, January here. They want this brand new loving opportunity, this brand new beginning. Some of them are very regretful because they came off as somebody that's not very loyal, that's not very stable, okay? And they don't want to come off that way. It's like they've really learned this lesson um, in this separation period, though. Yeah. So I'm getting that this person, it's like they felt like they did something very unloyal to you. They chose somebody else over you, okay, Pisces, and they really regret this because when they did that, they realized that they were in love with you here. There could be like, I'm getting somebody that doesn't like this connection and told this person to move away from you. Yeah, they were telling this person that this connection's a red flag here. This could have been a friend or a parent, I'm hearing. And this person walked away from you, okay? It's like they listened to the, their advice because this was like a very trustworthy person in their life. 
But yeah, they ended up ruining things, okay? They ended up going down the wrong path and now they're very regretful. They feel like they missed an opportunity here. And now they feel like that they're actually in love with you because they can't let this go. They're a little bit hesitant to come back, okay? Because it's like this shock factor. They're not really sure on how you're going to react. And this person likes to like basically control everything. They like to um, be in control of everything. And because they don't know how you're going to react, Pisces, this is what's making them, yeah, a little bit stagnant here. They're also worried that like you're not feeling this connection anymore. You've moved on, Pisces, okay? This person's very emotional over you at the moment. Yeah, because they feel like they've moved away from you, okay? Um, you're really what they want, but they're not coming towards you, okay? They're not doing anything about it. They're just, like, in this victim mentality at the moment. This person's in a very emotional, um, like, spot at the moment, okay? They definitely are in their emotions. They're feeling regretful. They're feeling like they've manipulated them way, their way out of this connection. They feel like you're looking at somebody else now, party, And, like, you're ignoring them. They're scared they've missed their chance here. Yeah, they're really feeling this connection, but they don't really feel your energy at the moment. And this is, like, encouraging them to come forward because they're realising that they're not happy without you. Especially if you're dealing with a... Cancer or a uh, Leo here. This person really wants to have a conversation here with you, but they're embarrassed because they came off unloyal before. They ignored this connection. They didn't, like, they could have tried to pursue somebody else. Yeah, this person's scared that this, like, this is over. Like, they're scared this is over on your end, okay, because they've been hiding their truth, okay? They could be entertaining somebody else while getting guided to you, but they're not doing anything about it, okay? Basically because they're stuck in fear here. There's a lot of fear that you're moving on, that you're not interested, that because they chose this other person or went down this other direction, and that you're basically moving on. And they, they are seeing somebody else in your life, okay, that wants to, like, be loyal to you, I'm hearing, Pisces. And they're feeling very conflicted because this person does nothing but just stay there, like stay stuck and do not move and just watch you. Again, take this energy how it resonates. It could, this could be you or your person, okay? Um, this person's very regretful because they're scared that they've missed this opportunity here with you, but yet they can't stop thinking about you. They can't get over you, okay? They really want another opportunity here. They scared you're over it though, okay? Because they walked away real quick without thinking and when they did, they realised that they're in love with you and they can't replace this connection. So I'm getting this, like, whole reading may come to a surprise, like, because this person's so quiet, they're so quiet. They don't want to, like, reveal anything, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio here. Yeah, but this person wants to be with you. Like, you're this person happily ever after, but, like, this person's, like, not telling you that. In fact, they're trying to hide it from you. Like, they don't want you to know how they're truly feeling for some reason. I'm hearing adventure time. Okay, that could resonate for somebody. That's a TV show, by the way. Yeah, this person feels absolutely stuck, stagnant, stuck like they're stuck in quick sand, okay? Um, they feel like they've made the wrong choice, they're stuck with the wrong option. If they're not stuck with any other option, it's just like this person won't move, okay? They, they're stuck in fear here, um, which is keeping them very stagnant in life, okay? They keep going around in a circle, like they really wish that they took this opportunity here with you because they cannot stop thinking about you. They can't get over this, okay? I'm getting they're trying to get over this, but yeah, they can't get over it, okay? Yeah, this person's literally in love with you. Literally in love with you and trying to hide it and deny it. This person's like in hermit mode at the moment, okay? So they're very quiet because basically they're 
isolating themselves from the world, okay, they're going through a lot of lessons at the moment, um, yeah, so they could be going through some type of painful situation that's teaching them a lot of lessons, okay, they also don't feel very stable at the moment, they could be staying with somebody, they could have, like, um, they could have, like, lost their, like, I don't know, I'm hearing they could have lost their, like, apartment or house or, like, contract or something, um, this person feeling like, if they did come back to you, you'd probably friend zone them because of their behaviour, okay, they could have come up with, like, some type of player here, um, yeah, and slowed this connection down, and I'm getting, you're really, you're going to be really confused, because you're like, this person, like, barely even talks to me, they could even, like, try to ignore you, because they're really intimidated by you here, Pisces, and they just, they don't really feel good enough, they also can't get over you, you're sparking emotions in them that they don't feel comfortable with, okay? The Two of Cups, again, guys, guys, like, need I say anymore, this person's in love with you, they want union here with you, they want to communicate here with you, no matter how much they try to hide it, this person wants you, and in the month of January, there is a opportunity of a brand new loving beginning, um, this person's been guided to contact you, for, um, sorry, Pisces, this person's been, like, guided to contact you, okay, whether they take it or not, because they are very much rooted in fear at the moment, okay, but if they do take it and they do con um, contact you, this is a, like an opportunity of a brand new loving beginning, okay, something beautiful, so that's all I have for you, Pisces, I really hope this um, helped you, I hope it resonated, if it did, please let me know in the comments, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.